Warning, the following show features stunts performed either by professionals or under the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. We're here in Oklahoma. I'm standing with Matt Hoffman, and we're here for your tribute to Evil Knievel. Matt has put together a hell of a show. We have uh, a lot of pretty great things for everybody to see, and I don't know, I, I'm nervous just witnessing it. actually knew evil right yeah man I, I was real lucky to um, uh, to to like you know befriend him and he reminded me of what I'm gonna have to deal with when I get older and I kind of reminded him what it was like when he was younger there was one thing that evil represented and that was just the fuck it flag <laughs> you know just <laughs> going for it man <laughs> like that's what he lived for till Till the day he died, he went for it. There was never any questions about Evil's heart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it was four times bigger than the average man. And you know, I think Evil just ignored fear, which that's what I've done a few times before too. People are so scared of death that they they forget what it's like to live, you know? You know, once you've lived that hard, you know, you can't go back. And that's the way I, I'll live till I die. And I know that's the way Evil did it, and that's the way we do it. You brought Evil Knievel's spirit into BMX. You, know, you invented the super ramp. You went twice as high as anyone else. You are our bridge from Evil Knievel until now. When you hit the ramp and got 50 feet above the ground, you came down and slammed, right? And yeah. were you DOA on that one? I was getting towed like that with a motorcycle, and then I thought, man, I would like to do this whenever I want, and I have to like rely on someone to tow me, so I designed this. Uh, bicycle that I, I turned into a motorcycle like I got this weed eater engine and I adapted it to it and I didn't really have much of a budget so it was pretty ghetto and <laughs> a weed eater engine on a bicycle it's safe to assume you have no budget <laughs> yeah. and no sense <laughs> you know in retrospect I could have probably put more thought into it but um, <laughs> but, but I but it kind of it took me it took me down and it, it just like I blew my spleen up I had a bunch of internal bleeding and that's what made me flatline I had a few close calls in the hospital, and I was like, you know what? I, a few, I kinda, a few, I kind of knew that. I'm sorry, man. A few close calls in the hospital. I think yeah. you flatlined twice. Just, I've had a few close calls at the pharmacist, <laughs> not lucky. the hospital. Well, we're lucky we've got we've got you, man, because like you've you've taken a lot of close calls for us that we've gone like, oh yeah, so that's how you don't do it. Thanks, thanks, Knoxville. I'm man. the before picture <laughs> for stuntmen. And then you went into the rocket, which like, what was that like? What was that? that was my small tribute to Evil Knievel the rocket. I tried to gear up like him, and the red, white, and blue like I like I did today. What is actually going down for the Evil Knievel tribute? What, what do we have planned? Today, Trigger's gonna try to set the, the world record, basically fly his motorcycle. BMXers, we're doing ramp to dirt. They got backflip records in their minds, you know, they got distant records in their minds. We're gonna just see how far we can push it. We found, uh, you know, Harley Jeff has a beautiful XR750, you know, just like Evil's bike, you know, and uh, he's gonna be backflipping it. <laughs> so, so that's that gonna like a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> We have Travis Pastrana here. He's a spirit of evil. Uh, He's going so uh, big. Yeah. We got Scott Flammer, wanting to jump out of an airplane without a parachute. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know what to say about that. What better of a, of a person to celebrate, you know, that attitude is the, you know, the forefather of it, the one that invented it, and the one that just kind of let us know that pushing it too far is what it's about, you know? <laughs> like, and so that's what we're here to do, is push it too far and just uh, hopefully celebrate at the end. If not, we live and learn. 
Evil Knievel gave this bike to Matt. I don't think there's anything more you need to say. Yep. And this jacket. Love you, Evil. This is for you, man. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to touch you because I'm afraid something's going to fall off. Yeah. That side over there is where Matt Hoffman's tribute to Evil Knievel is going to take place. We got Travis Pastrana, we got Trigger Gum, we got all kinds of nuts breaking all kinds of world records, and it's all for Evil Knievel. It looks real peaceful down there right now, but it's going to get real crazy real soon. This is Spanky Spangler. He's our stunt coordinator for this event. One of the greatest daredevils to ever walk the planet. How many stunts under your belt? 22,000. 22,000. And not just like small stunts, huge, gnarly stunts. I always said, hey, I'm not a daredevil, I'm a stunt man. But then I learned that when you're a daredevil, it sells tickets. So, hey, I'm a daredevil. I'm a daredevil. I'm a daredevil too. Yeah. I mean, I've been around the world 15 times doing stunts. And I'd have never probably done that unless I met Evil. And I always said he's not a star, he was a superstar. Yeah. I mean, even the superstars would want to see this cat. Yeah. You know, he, he, was, he was a different type of person. He let you know, too, when you're around him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't even yeah. tell you. He goes, Trig, if I was riding the bike that you're riding today, I'd jump twice as far as you. And you couldn't even say nothing. You're like, yeah, no. you probably would, guy. Well, he was riding a big ass heavy Harley doing jumps, right, back in the day? Oh, yeah. You know, he, he kept the, he really put the daredevil spirit into it. I mean, there's a lot of jumpers out there now, but I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody is gonna beat Evil Knievel's records, and the reason is nobody's gonna do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but he wanted to keep the Daredevil in it, because I, you know, I could calculate speeds for him, I could help him out like, nah, I want, I'm a Daredevil. Oh, he, he wasn't know, up, he wasn't much for calculating nah, speeds? No, you know, he wanted to feel it. You gotta feel it, you know? <laughs> uh, you were on a couple of Evil Knievel specials? Yeah, I did. I do a show every year up in Butte, Montana, the Evil Knievel week, you know? Evil yeah. Knievel days? Yeah, Evil yeah. Knievel days. When is the Butte, new Montana. one? The end of July. And there you go, kids. End of yeah. July, Butte, Montana, Evil Knievel days. Keep the spirit alive. He's with all of us, you know, at heart. Matt Hoffman's got this guy named Psycho. Yeah. Who's going to try and break the distance record on a BMX bike, like 100 feet. Why did he get nominated to break the world record? Because Matt said he was his graphic artist. <laughs> <laughs> Never been pulled by a motorcycle. But what would Evil do? That's the way you got to look at it. What was uh, his personal best jump before this? I don't believe he's jumped in about 10 or 12 Damn. years. <laughs> <laughs> What's the world record? What's he trying to break? Well, uh, this is kind of its own category because nothing's ever been set up like this. Psycho's here because we really don't know what's going to happen. And this is when you just, no matter how much you think you know, we're going there, you just have somebody that knows how to just let the fuck it flag blaze, and that's what that's what's happening right now. He's he's my fuck it flag. <laughs> so, <laughs> Go and show him your cape. Fuck it. I can't say fuck on TV. Fun fuck not. Fuck, I don't know. That's fucked up. That's fuck. You know? <laughs> and then you excel until uh, until you get like this or whatever or a this or a whatever. <laughs> Or that? What's that? It's okay. It's gotta be it's this. this. Right. That or the shocker one. Or two. All right. So then, so then you watch. Whenever I go like this, you're at that speed that you guys all wanted to be at. You know, Maintain. and then you guys can all focus anyway, and not have yeah. to keep looking. I don't know if there's a way we could get that scrap flyway hey, down at the end, and that'll give us an extra extra 10, 15 feet. The whole thing is kind of calculated by you know speed and the distance, and of course our speedometer just broke. And so uh, now what Spanky's gonna do is he's gonna shoot it with his gun. That's gonna tell him exactly how. Um, fast they go. How wide was the landing you set the record on? 60. 60 feet? Yeah. And this is this is four feet. <laughs> this is what you call rigging it. 35. 38. 36. Good. Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Psycho! Most BMX and motocross events, like there's thousands of people watching. And this is cool because it's just like, it's us, you know? Yeah. It's just all the bros watching. Yeah, that's. Here he comes again. Uh -huh. So the bros can watch. Here comes. Yeah! Oh! Some people.
everybody's feeling it. Yeah! Oh, oh man! You probably didn't land that one on the other side. <laughs> Hell of an artist, though. <laughs> They're stepping it up. How far are they moving it back? 10 feet. <laughs> wow, that's great. Way to go, psycho. Shit. It was still screwed in when they were trying to move it. Of course it was. <laughs> How far is that back now? 54 foot gap. We've got ghetto measurement for world record distance jumping. It's the sketchiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Jesus, man, that was hairy. Since he has a cape on, he doesn't have to land with his bike. So we just mark it where he lands, and that's it. That's Matt's event. He makes <laughs> up the rules. I say, OK. Psycho. Bucket flag and all or nothing. Yeah! 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 Where did that hit? That's another record, right, Matt? Yeah, it was 67 feet. Man, Hold up, guys. things are okay. heating up here. Oh, oh man, this is gonna be huge. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, that was insane. Just right here, like three feet away. 67 feet 9 inches if we wanted to get real tech, but with our, our ghetto style uh, measurements, I'm gonna add a, a foot, uh, a foot four inches, so we got 69. <laughs> <laughs> we got a 67 foot distance record by Psycho. We got a 60 and a half foot tail whip by Allen. Cool. And, and back we have uh, a 69 foot backflip. Yeah. And then <laughs> the longest distance. Is an 88 foot head plant by Psycho! Yeah! yeah! Wow! <laughs> that was an actual world record. Hi, I'm jumping Jeff Schneider. This is my XR 750, Harley Davidson V twin motor, 750 cc's. Same bike Evil Knievel jumped on. We do thrill show style jumping, we land on an eight foot wide landing ramp, no dirt, all steel. Evil did it, he was my hero, so that's why I do it. He's paved the path for where we're at today, all of us. You ever uh, uh, tried to flip a Harley before? I don't know if this bike will come around, but I know I'm willing to try, and we're gonna get it done this weekend. How much more does this weigh than a motocross bike? About twice. <laughs> so this is actually two separate engines. We've got a carburetor, exhaust, and ignition system for each. I, I, I didn't catch most of what you said, but it sounds like a lot of engines. Just turn the throttle and pull back. Turn the throttle and pull. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> that folks was jumping Jeff Snyder. Actually, today he is Harley Jeff Snyder because Matt called him Harley Snyder. Now he's got to flip a Harley. I hope Matt doesn't call me Prison Yard Susie. <laughs> like fun I do. Here we go, folks. Jumping Jeff Snyder, about to become Harley Jeff Snyder. It's a big moment. If you think jumping a Harley Davidson over bus is a bad idea, watch this. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. That was right down on top of him. Oh, he's hurting. He's hurting, dude. He's hurting. That sucked. Come straight down on your left thigh. What do you think's wrong? Did you break it? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. You don't sound like it. It hurts. 
Look, man, evil didn't land it every time either. It doesn't mean you don't have big balls of steel. Shit, man, that was a hell of a try. Looked pretty good there for a while. <laughs> like I know anything. All right. We got the thumbs up. We got the evil can evil thumbs up. A water? Harley Jeff Snyder is good. Spike, you totally got this. You think? I can do a backflip off a diving board. Does that count? That's what Travis Pastrana asked me. He goes, uh, man, I'll have you doing a backflip on a motorcycle. And I'm like, I really can't. I don't ride a motorcycle. Well, can you do a backflip off a diving board? No. He goes, don't worry, it'll be no problem. <laughs> yeah, it makes the noise. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I practice. Foam, you know, it looks like it's safe. It's not. First time I ever came here, first guy broke his femur. And then I was next. Why are you telling me this? Uh, yeah, oh, I don't want you to get false confidence. It. Thanks. I'm just hoping you can get up the ramp. I'm mini bike spike, and I'm going to do my first backflip ever. Sketch. Spike, whatever you want to do on the bike. Can I try one more time? Yeah, you do it. I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. I think it's pretty... You know, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Do you know where the throttle is? Yeah, I got right. that. One, two, three, flip. That's a flip. Now when you do that, keep your head back and you'll do it. Perfect. Yes, yes. Shift it. Shift up. Shift, Shift up. the gear. Shift up. Is it uh, up or down that you change the gears? <laughs> yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if he tries it into the pit or into real dirt because he's never going to make it to the ramp. I know, right? doesn't know how to ride more, so I thought he was kidding. How was it? I don't know, man. I've had a couple people that didn't know how to ride before, but I've never had to push anybody up to the ramp to get them going. <laughs> that was classic. I, I'm stoked he made it halfway around. Hopefully I didn't get hurt. You really don't know how to ride a motorcycle. I really don't know how. I could even fucking ride in a straight line. I thought you were so we noticed. How about we go watch someone who can ride a motorcycle, trigger gum? How was that for a throw? All right, well, some weather came in, as you guys can see. Lots of rain, snow, sleet, <laughs> thunder, lightning. But well, whenever you're, you're set to do goals like this, you got to be ready and prepared for any struggle, any adversity, and rise above. We're here with Mike. Yeah, no He's shit, a, huh? the Travis Pastrana accessory for this jump. Um, <laughs> I was asked to give some uh, advice. So well, hold on, and uh, if something goes wrong, you know, um, we'll tell you about it, you know, later. Hey, guess what, Chud? <laughs> yeah, bud. I'm scared shitless. Nah. Uh, I know. Nah, you're good. <laughs> Whether you landed or not, you still have your uh, uh, gym dog tucked down in your boot, so you're good. This is Travis Rastrana. This is Mike Cook's wallet, and that's Mike Cook. Travis is going to do a little uh, flip with the, uh, well, I didn't mean little flip. He's going to do a flip, no offense. <laughs> don't tell little jokes now. First midget to do a back flip. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>
Is he strong? Ah, Can he hold on? I'm here with Trigger Gum at the Matt Hoffman tribute to Evil Knievel. Trigger's going to attempt to break the uh, world record long distance jump on a motorcycle. You know, we're, we're all here for Evil Knievel and I just wanted to talk to you. Like, what, what did Evil mean to you growing up? I don't know. I thought he was more of a superhero, you know. I thought he just ate nuts and bolts for breakfast and he was like invincible. And I just looked up to him and I just wanted to be like him. And Eventually, I started jumping motorcycles. What age did you start riding a motorcycle? Uh, I think, you know, uh, way before I actually started riding a motorcycle, I'd run around the house and act like I was riding a motorcycle. Right, right. I did of thousands evil? of jumps off my couch. You know, <laughs> I, I did thousands of jumps off the wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Yeah. There's no such thing as luck. It's uh, preparation and uh, opportunity. I'll take your word for it. OK. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fucking hill. It's good, right? It's fucking great, man. Welcome to Oklahoma. Ready, little Mike? Trigger Gum is doing a practice run before he tries to set the world record run for the long distance jump. There you go. Just wait till he hits the ramp. When did you first set the world record? In 05, I had like the longest jump. What, how far was that? It was 277, and then I tried to break it, and I crashed at 300 feet. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Robbie Madison just broke it. How far did he go? He went 321. I haven't been able to sleep since he took it across the seas, and I won't be able to sleep until I got it back here in the United States where it rightfully belongs. That's right. Right. This is going to be the most intense thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> He's just going some speed runs right now. He, he's got to hit 100? Close to it. You know, he's like 90, 100 miles an hour. <laughs> Fuck! How fast was that? 90. The run up looks sketchy. When he hits the ramp, it's like a <laughs> whole other level of sketchy. Just to hit that ramp going that fast. Off dirt. Well, he's hitting it at. 100 miles an hour and going 100 feet farther than this. That's a hell of a view. <laughs> hey, Seth, can I ask you a question? Yes, my love, speak. Hoffman and I were wondering why his ramp is so narrow. Because he's a sick cunt, mate. 10-4. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time when you got to rise above your fear. Sweet outfit. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so fucking cool. Give him hell. You wanna, you wanna chip? No. Get clear, he's gone. Coming. So much farther than that. We got some surveyors up on top, and they're uh, calculating our distance. So we pretty much know where we're at by the speeds and the ramp angle. But we try to get all the numbers we can on our side, because when you're going for world records, that's what you got to do. It's it's right. Yeah, we got to make some changes. All right, let's make them. It's, it's too steep now. Like, here's the landing, Spinky. The, my trajectory, I was a foot over it, and then I start. That's what I was saying. I'm like right here forward, I need to shove that off. We Roger. talked about rolling that off, didn't we? Huh? <laughs> I'd like to get some more practice in. Yeah. Well, let's try to get this fixed. You want to? Yeah, let's just knock it so down. Then, well, let's quick. get on it. Let me, yeah. let me get it. There's Pastrana, master dozer operator. It 
it's on. <laughs> And he pushes it back, what, 10 or 20 feet at a time? He's going in 10 foot increments. He seems confident. I think I saw the evil hanging on to him flying. <laughs> <laughs> you think you'd do like one jump, two jumps? He's been jumping for hours. Hopefully, he was watching. 76, 78, 78. Oh, man, you were cracking today. So, how's it work tomorrow? Will you start from the same? Yeah, I'm going to start there. Yep. Same deal. Just, I'm going to go and tell my bike I can't go no faster. Hurry! Took a little longer to get everything perfect, but everything's got to be perfect. Yeah. There's, hey. I mean, it's a do or die deal. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be great, victorious. Here's the break of the record. I think we could get a smooth, level runway. And of course, this wind is going to, he's not going to do it in this wind, but this wind's supposed to calm down in the evening. And uh, so if all those, fall in place it's like we have a we have a wind another window that we can make it we can do it no i'm with you i'm just saying because i'm ready to just just do anything to just rise above all this and make it happen and, or just to like present it to him at the end and say hey what do you think i don't feel defeated yet you know we got a plan that that uh i think is going to come together by three you and know then, you know what too it's like to make it that much more special. Is, this stuff isn't easy, or why, why, why isn't the whole, everybody like, why don't we have 50 people trying to hit that ramp right now, you know? No one else in the world is trying to do what you're trying to do today. No, no, <laughs> And if we don't, we just, you just never give up. You just keep going on, no matter what goes in your way. That's the spirit we're representing here, you know? So that's, that's what we need to represent today and just see what we can, see what we can make happen, you know? Um. It's pretty calm. You're not going to get much better than this no, until... That, that's why I'm saying. I'm gonna you're go. about ready now. It's on, yo. All or nothing. <laughs> got a picture that time. Oh, wow. How are you up there? Good. That's right there, right on the numbers. Right on the numbers, good. Right there, 84. Seth, it's Knoxville. Oh, hey there. What's going on? What was the last jump? The last one was 249. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly guy. Yeah, I know Dude, I can't believe oh, that yeah. he's going that fast, <laughs> bouncing around in such a sketchy runway and getting a toothpick. Um, I mean, do you feel like you're starting to max it out? Do you feel you got, you got some more juice in it? I got some juice, dude. I'm going till the bike will not go any faster. Yeah. I've already made that deal with it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Myself. You're the last of the gladiators, man. I mean, this is it. I don't think he looks over a hill before he does it. Like, he just, like, guns it and just jumps and just falls and falls and falls. I think that's it. Yeah. Because I'm dancing and, like, dancing. I don't think we're going to get a better shot today. Man, you are the gnarliest man alive, figure. Yeah, 
coming from you, dude. That's a huge compliment, dude. Oh, it's sick. He wants it so. Yeah, but it's not about a number, you know? It's about it's about the spirit. It's about pushing. It's about making, like, doing something that no one else could possibly do, and you're doing that right now. Um, I just heard that, uh, you know, Trigger definitely can't break the world record today because in true Jackass style, we didn't build the right run-up for the ramp, and that sucks. But in true evil style, he and Midget Mike are going to try to break the world record tandem jump, which is 98 feet, and in my heart, I know they have 99. Hell, they might have 100. So, uh, we'll see. Midget goes big. <laughs> There's you on the front. You feeling it? You feeling it? You feeling it? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's do it. I'm done. As soon as he feels cooler, then I'm feeling cooler. Think that cape's gonna help you? <laughs> All right, just make sure you hit this four-foot toothpick centered. Man, this thing is like. <laughs> See, that can't be a good idea. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's only for, uh, you know, trusting your life with. Man, you're kind of the star of the show. What does it feel like? I like it. You're setting all the records. That's all of a sudden, I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> all you got to do is uh, not think about what you're doing most of the time. Just go wide open. <laughs> yeah. So this, this, this looks freaking insane right here. Now or never, yo. Yep. Hold on. And, uh... Gun it. It's my style. That's what I like. He's off. It's too good job, too good job, too good job. I didn't know he's hitting the ramp that time. The underdog of the of the event is taking all the records, yo. <laughs> man, you are the man. Yeah. What up? So what does that feel like? Were you sweating? How was that? <laughs> that was Dude, that was so easy landing, but I started like drifting off the bike because I tried to hang on. Where do you put your feet? Nowhere. I just, I just yeah, I, no footer. Man. I wonder how far we just went. No, we should measure it, huh? Did you get, uh, did you mark your landing? I think we got a record here. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is 100 foot right here. Two feet short of a world record. Mike, you're going again. Two feet, come on. <laughs> the last chance of the day. Sun's going down, two ins in about five minutes. Can they do it? That's all we so, needed. Hell yeah, dude. I have it at 100 feet. We did it. 100 feet exactly. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 record! Yeah. Yeah. Mini Mike going mid, yo! We did it! Gotcha! Yeah. Wait, we're gonna have to rename this the uh, Matt Hoffman's uh, Evil Knievel Ghetto World Record Attempts. <laughs> Something, no. It sings. <laughs> Hello, Johnny Knoxville, Scott Plammer here at Matt Hoffman's tribute to Evil Knievel. Scott, what do you plan on doing for the tribute? I plan on uh, jumping out of a perfectly good airplane with no parachute on. <laughs> have, have, you, have you done that before, Scott? No. <laughs> Hope it works. My friend Scott invited us down to uh, watch him jump out of a plane without a pair of shoes. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna see how that goes for him. His friend's supposed to fly down and catch him. Uh, apparently they're like the two best skydivers in the world and I guess we're getting ready to see if that's true. So we just met Plammer at a titty bar parking lot. He comes up and he goes, hey man, uh, let's go to breakfast and talk this out. 
So I don't know why we went to the titty bar and not just to breakfast to work it out. Everything's low profile. Super low profile. We had a um, we're basically telling them we're going fishing Thank you. down south of here. Were you going fishing down? Well, would they see the would they see the parachutes? I asked Plammer, have you ever jumped out of a plane without a parachute before and someone caught you? And he's like, no. <laughs> and, I, and I looked at the guy next to him who was catching him. I'm like, have you ever caught anyone who's jumped out of an airplane without a parachute before? He's like, no. And I was like, good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in an undisclosed location and Scott Plammer invited us down to watch him jump out of an airplane without a parachute without a parachute. Evil, I hope you're watching, because this is for you. One man is going to go, and he's holding the ground. We're coming in one. Seconds? Yeah, no parachute. Good Those job, man. We did yeah. it. I jumped out on a plane and I was okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we get the fuck out of Dodge now? Yeah, let's go. You just kind of talk to me, tell me what we're riding ready to do. All right, basically, uh, you got the, <laughs> I'd say one of the biggest uh, mounds of dirt uh, built in Oklahoma, and we're gonna try to do really dumb things to it. Um, we have a lot of lofty goals and high expectations, but we'll, uh, we'll have to see exactly what's going to work out here as we, uh, we start going. we got um, one guy who can't ride a motorcycle at all, but he's a great gymnast. He's trying a body barrel that no one else has ever done, ever, or even attempted. Uh, we got a space for myself and uh, Scott, who's the only team that have ever double backflipped the motorcycle. And then then they got the backflip 360, the no-handed. We'll try that. That uh, had demoralizingly poor results yesterday as I augured my head off the ground. Man, I hate myself. He's trying to like do let go of the bike and do a backflip and uh, grab the bike again. I don't know if it's ever been done, but he's going for it. I think he's a gymnast.
busting ass. <laughs> That's it! That's it. <laughs> Ow. Is he uh, hitting this first ramp or the second ramp? The, the, the one further, closest to us? The, no, the further one. The mellow one. Right. That, that was one that you'd hit. You think I could hit that? Oh, for sure. It's no problem. Just lean back and pull. You're going to crash anyway, so you might as well try to flip. Oh! You guys have cups on? When the front tire hits the front, hits the front of the ramp? Yeah. Twist the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I kind of keep on line, and I hit the bottle right up, nail it, and then we'll see what happens. Then Fuck it, let's do it. Are you doing All right, you ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to backflip this son of a bitch, but I'm gonna try. Evil would have tried. Just hang on harder than you ever hung on. Like, even when you're stroking it, hold on to it three times harder than that. I kind of have a loose grip, Mike. Yeah, you gotta have a tight grip for this one. Oh yeah? Here's the ramp. Just go that way real fast. Hey. Quit I'm gonna quit being a little bitch about it and just lay on the throttle and lean back. Just gonna eat From, shit. On third gear. Never ever ever let off the gas. All the way up, you're gonna be in the air for quite a long time. So don't do anything rash. You lean back, you stay with it, you hold onto the bike, you hold onto the bike. It's gonna feel like a long time. It will come all the way around. If for some reason it's not or whatnot, you have plenty of time to ditch it. Whatever you do, do not ditch the bike right away. Because if you go like this and ditch the bike, then yeah, yeah, it goes yeah. 40 feet in the air and lands on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm about to backflip this bike. Perfect. You kind of started to lean back, and then you just went through it and just kind of sat there. And you but quit being a little bitch about it. I took it back. No I think this should be your last one. saw the bike, I was going up and I saw the bike, I was like, that's yeah, probably coming down. <laughs> I didn't realize it's coming down my fucking balls. Oh, you okay? Oh yeah, I feel it's great. Good job, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got back up, yo. Evil, real Ultimate proud. crash of the weekend, <laughs> record crash, Knoxville. Oh, my, my balls aren't that big, aren't that big to begin with. <laughs> Never a failure in life, unless you fail to get back up. Evil Knievel. You got hit in the ball so hard it broke the uh, uh, bar. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was going to come to. Oh, man. I don't think that's put out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm surprised you just got to the ramp, much less. Go check. Yeah, you should go check. Is that what you were talking about over there? Yeah. Go check right away because you don't want to waste any time with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me get the boots off and because uh, something's happening. <laughs> What does that mean if blood's coming out? Like, ruptured something? And I feel fine. I just felt like I was pissing my pants, but I realized it's just blood. And I'm afraid to really look. For a man that can't ride a motorcycle, he went big. And I uh, kept getting up, kept trying it again, even when everyone else was gone. Dude, I don't think it's going to work. He said, I can do it. And uh, now his, uh, his dick's bleeding. So I, don't, I think that's a good, good call to stop on that one. This really sucks for the Evil Knievel tribute, me getting in an ambulance. Oh, there goes our show. Why couldn't I got a broken arm or leg or like broken collar? But no, I got blood shooting out my pee pee. I injured the only body part that means anything to me.
All right, that's gonna wrap for us. We just uh, pushed it as hard as we can. We just celebrated the spirit of Evil Knievel. He uh, inspired us to just push the limits and, uh, and go bigger and, and better and further than we ever have before. And we got Knoxville here with a nice uh, torn urethra. Give it all you, all you got, representing the spirit like no one else can. What up, Knox? How you feeling? Just call me Urethra Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Evil, I hope you're watching. I hope you uh, love the show and the tribute and uh, Sorry you had to see my crank. And you know, you, you, you achieved the record of a half flip to a separation to your the tear. I haven't heard anybody that's pulled that off. Hey, that's one record they can have back, Matt. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to end it for my Evil to Evil tribute. We want to thanks for the inspiration and the spirit that, uh, that you gave us to push it even further. We'll see you next time. To be continued, yo. Peace out. See ya. I'm on my moon. <laughs>